right, guys, it's been about an hour since I got back. Tom and Michael got back, and the gentleman that's picking up this trailer is picking up the trailer now. I'm gonna get some of the uh, that wood stacked next to the fire, and then I might lay down and take a nap. When I get up, I want to uh, to answer back a few of y'all's comments. I wish I could reply to everybody. What I do is I try and go, see, I read them no matter what, but when I give a heart, like if it's a question or something like that, I really wanna be able to answer, you know? So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm see if I can, can reply back to some of y'all's comments. Thank you so much for being there and helping support me and, and support what we do out here, you know? And then, yeah, figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. I think we might be headed out to see Wes figure out how we're gonna get that demo job finished. I'm gonna get in also and see if Tom needs my help. Well, friends, that's the way we do it around the shop. I think that concludes this portion of the video. And, uh, yeah. You get the most important one. We got something to say? What do you say? Are you saying work hard, play hard? Hmm? Feed me. Feed me. That's, <laughs> look at the way she does that pointer thing with her little paw. Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? Yeah? Tell me. What you want? One treat? Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll go get you one. Yeah, so if you're hearing clicking coming from your distributor area, it could be, I'm not saying necessarily it is, it could be the cap's cracked. And so you really? pop it right now when it's dark, if you pop that hood and start it, it's got a Christmas tree. A crack, or like, like lightning clap. Yes, clap, clap, yeah, clap. yeah. That, or you could take like ether or or um, carburetor cleaner. Okay. When it's running, you just squirt it over, it'll pop. You know, really? To, okay. Because the, the spark will cause a little flash. The spark will cause the few. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay. Oh, well, See, yeah. my dad, he had a pickup truck and he did that same thing. He went out in the middle of the night and opened it up, but it wasn't just uh, like a spark from the distributor. It looked like a Christmas tree on the yeah. hood with all the wires and the cables and stuff. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah, it will. Okay, I'm gonna run out there right now then, and I'm gonna start it up and look under the hood. There you go. Yeah, you just kind of missed, yeah. missed it over to the distributor. To okay. See if it's gonna... But normally you'll see it, so you don't have to, but you don't, you don't ever just like stick it on or push it. You just got to okay. Just, yeah, just, just like a little squirt. Yeah, just yeah. like you're doing like a, like a lighter or something, but the, the fumes will okay. pop, pop. Very if cool. If you do too much, it'll lighten you have it all over the place. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we don't so want to do that. It could light, doesn't okay. mean a little bit. You don't want to take that risk, though. There it is. Okay, cool. We're having camera difficulties. <laughs> so that's the distributor back there. That gray and black thing back there. This right? Yup, that's your distributor. Because okay. it distributes the spark to the engine. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're going to have to explain how That's that fine. works to us here in a little bit. Because when you explain it to me the first time, it was really freaking cool. Okay. okay. <laughs> what do I do right. now? We start it yeah, up? Yeah, just start it up and then we'll pull the, the light away to see if there's any sparks coming through the cap. All right. Here we go.
Okay, well, that's one one problem eliminated. Yeah, nothing else was lighting up underneath there, so yeah, no, we ain't got no sparks that's running around. And okay, at random, like a lightning ball. Yeah. Oh. Very good. We'll appreciate it, bro. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to check sometimes. So. Yeah. Hey guys, check out Michael's T-shirt. Filming in progress. <laughs> He had that made it also has this logo on the front yeah. is that called ce 77 <laughs> ce stands for crimson entity 77 it's not cool so and that's because the crimson entity it reminded this reminded me of being covered in the blood of jesus christ yeah because i'm an entity and the blood is crimson and so being covered in the blood of jesus christ yes and then in a bible passage in the bible there's an area there i can't remember what it is right now but i do have it documented somewhere because there is a debate okay but there's a bible passage that says that you're supposed to forgive yes a person 77 times a day there's also Whoa. another bible passage Whoa. that says that you do it seven times 70. wow but they're both in the book and they're both right so one gets confused with the other okay. however it, there there is one that says 77 times a day you forgive. right so i've known some people that i've had to forgive 77 times a day so yeah. i can totally yeah. relate to that passage exactly. so, <laughs> so that's kind of what the, 70s, okay. the ce 77 stands for the crimson entity yeah and, and remember to forgive all the time very so, cool brother yeah. very cool So we're headed up to where are we headed? Uh, we're going over here to a place called the warehouse. Okay. It's a thrift store, and Jasmine has a crouton over there that she just picked up. And okay. We're gonna deliver to her place. So. Very cool. Yeah. Since Jasmine has his pickup, we're gonna be using Max, which is really cool because Michael has always been there for me. We're always riding around in his pickup doing stuff for me, right? So now I get to like pay it back. It's pretty cool, right guys? All right, let's get out of here, bro. All right, let's get out of here, man. Yeah, you gotta slam that thing, bro. Well, Max is running really good, guys. I think getting rid of all that crap that had that back pressure has really helped. Yeah, it sounds a lot better too, idling down that carburetor. Yeah. It sounds really nice. And so the gym is right next door here. Yeah, that's a big right okay, there. Okay, very cool. That's where I go spending most of my mornings. Nice futon. Doesn't look too heavy. Though, as y'all guys probably know, like, sometimes it can be deceiving. <laughs> Michael's making sure that Jasmine's going to be home. Uh, and we're going to get this thing loaded. You want to get something we can put over the top of this, though, right? Yeah, I should go ask him. I'll see him. Yeah. Him out over here. Knows. All right, I'm going to browse. Okay. The old VHS types. I like to buy the old VHS tapes because they're like unedited. They edit a lot of stuff that they put out nowadays, you know, for viewer suitability. So I like to buy the old VHS because you get the original cut from them. Still need to get a VCR. I've been trying to do that for a bit. Hey, True Lies. Seen that movie probably a thousand times. Let's see. Yeah, I've never been in here before. I'm gonna have to come in and check this out. Payday. They've even got some clothes down here. It's really hard to find men's clothes because we kind of, you know, us guys, we kind of tear them up so they don't last long. And I got some neckties. I haven't worn a tie in about five years, I don't think. So I guess he might have some over here. Okay. Look over here by the throw pillows. Gotcha. I was like, really? You want me to throw them all the way up there? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought that this queen from the shop. Oh, I didn't even think Dude, about that. Dude, why didn't we? 
I had it we got a right whole roll there. of visqueen. Yeah, it's sitting right down. Let's go get the, it. Yeah, that one more time because you said that word. Uh, just with, uh, yeah. let's go get it. It's staying right next to the couch. Did you say it? Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> this should go on the blooper reel. Ah, we just got our first F bomb on the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, way, man. Okay, guys, we gotta try this again using a tactic I lovingly refer to as the right way. My brakes are all clean because of the rain, so it keeps. Oh, Max, what are you doing? Tom adjusted the idle for me last night, so I'm not used to it. I just gotta get used to it again. And I gotta do something about those squeaking freaking uh, windshield wipers. You know? Yeah. Drives me up the you. wall. Okay, we'll start filming once we've got our stuff lined up, guys. Hey, bro. Doing good. brothers was riding my butt one time and some friends were kind of doing it too I backed up three miles in about 20 miles an hour uh, uh, uh. yeah just to kind of show them and they're like okay Matt yeah you got skills bro oh, I mean wow. I was going around some like some stuff bro <laughs> so I love to back up plus it's good for my neck too it keeps it stretched out you know oh nice yeah That's cool therapy absolutely I find with like our own bodies, it's best to build our own physical therapy program, kind of, you know? Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. You know what your body can do and, right on. and how far you can go with it. So. Right on. Just what, yeah. It's like a regular highway around here. I know, right? <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to put in a stoplight. <laughs> Right on. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Look good. Yeah, I'm going to try to get this block. Can't get to you, bro. You got it? Yeah, that'll work right there. Okay. Good work. That's good. Hoorah. Gotta wash my stuff. I gotta get this truck cleaned out, guys. Yeah, that ought to be Let's good. Rock, yeah, maybe we're I'll throw a rock on it. We're only going a couple of yeah? right there. Alright, then we'll just go slow. Got something so in my eye. Your complex there. Hi. Right here. Off to the right. Okay. Okay. 
It's just the uh, same way we got it in there, I think, right? Yes, well, first we're gonna go over here and let her know ah, we're here. Perfect. Because then I think we'll probably move that couch out. Oh, I got you, okay. And bring this one in after the fact. That way, okay. Liz, we could set that other couch out here. Got you. Until we get this one in. So okay. That way we only have to make one step. Hey. Sorry about wearing the boots in the house. <laughs> we'll tip it this yep. way. <laughs> We're gonna have to tip it even more, I yeah, think. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, we We're gonna have to go the other direction, huh? Yeah. Right. Hang on. Let's take these legs off. Well, they I got tools off. in the truck. Yeah, they're just bolts. Let's set it. Uh, hmm. Is this all right? Let's see here. Do Let me get this plastic here. Well, it almost. Okay, we're going to be all right. Mike, Michael, grab the plastic. I got I think we're good. Because we got to hold it here anyway, guys. Let me grab my wrench. Well, hold on. Let's see here. I think he's right. Those legs ain't getting in there. I kind of can hold it like this. <laughs> Let's lay it back this way. And I think we're gonna be all right. We got carpet over there and then this is covered here. Do you want me to get two for you? Um, it's hard to get to these things. Yeah, they're hard to get to. That's the thing there. Come on. So what if you make it long? It is. You so know, I never. You know, we could do that too, Matt. That we could tip it up, make it lay down. Oh, that would be much better than this. Because it's a futon, nice. so it. Yes. Okay. So okay. it might. Look at me trying to do this the hard way. I didn't even think about it until uh, yeah. til Jasmine said something. Good thinking, Jasmine. <laughs> Good thinking. Us guys, we're just going to gut through it. You're like, well, you know, it'd be a lot easier if you just lay that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad uh, I spoke up. But... <laughs> okay, All right. so I don't know what to do. All right. so, let's tip it back up. I got you. And then put up. It should lay all the way down. Okay, I got buttons. That's not a button. How'd you do yours? All the way up. All the way up? All the way down. Gotcha. Okay. Now we're cooking that. Okay, you want to go and then this way, I think, pull. right? That way this doesn't slam back sure. on us. Absolutely. Okay. Let's dip it this way. Okay. Got it. Are you okay? Got it. Yep. Okay. Oh, Good solution. Yeah. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I waited so long. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's so exciting. Thank you guys isn't it? so much. Of course, Jazz. I have energy like you have no idea. <gasps> that well right yeah I haven't had enough coffee so I'm not gonna do the calculation myself either. Well, that's oh god cup. I call that a coffee cup oh that's a heck of a coffee <laughs> cup <laughs> guys if y'all want to see the coffee cup you have to go in and check out this video it's Michael's video we're dropping in the morning we're here in the editing bay well, you can see how she's looking around like what about me luckily I thought she needs yesterday oh peanut And then you're gonna be picky. Hey friends, all right, we're going on a walk tonight. I like this walk. I go all the way up to the store and then come back. It's kind of Southeast Alaska weather right now. It's like a drizzly rain. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna wait to record more till we get out on the main drag out here. Cause I'm pretty sure y'all can't see much. And then tomorrow, maybe we'll do that tour of the town during the daylight. I wanna go in and check out some of the thrift stores, some of the local stores. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. 
I wish you could see the fog like I do. Y'all's camera, as far as fog goes, is much better than the human eye. Whoa, it does look pretty cool though, doesn't it? Nice. Okay, yeah, I'll start recording once we hit the main drag, guys. Here we are at the Mexican restaurant. Can't wait to get to eat here. I ate here, well, a few years back in 2017 when I used to, to live here before I went down and got into recovery. I'm gonna bring the guys here on uh, payday. Yeah, show them my appreciation for being part of my life. I like this clock here. Isn't that cool? Okay, we're about maybe, I don't know, halfway to the store. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna come out here though and explore the town during the daylight. There are lots of really cool shops and stuff. It's nice out. I like this. Excellent walking weather. What I like about the rain too is it kind of keeps everybody else inside. <laughs> uh, like I like to say, I, I've spent enough time on my own that I kind of actually like my own company. You know, it's nice. We'll be to the store here pretty soon, guys. Then we're just gonna grab a cheap snack, maybe some chocolate milk or something. For me, the walk is actually what it's about. Yeah, it's the store over there. Not sure how many miles it is. Maybe two, maybe three. It's a good walk though. I'm looking for a crosswalk here. Yeah, I didn't realize I'm hungry. I ate earlier and everything. Just that thing I'm starting to work up an appetite actually doing stuff. Well, look at who this is. Look who we found, guys. Hey, Michael. Hey, man, how are you? Oh, you doing good. Right here, huh? Yeah, man, it's such a good walk. That's crazy. Totally. I didn't know. Did you want to ride back? No, or? no, this is what it's about for me. Oh, this okay. is how I meditate and clear my head and everything. Okay. Yeah, at the end okay. of the day, yeah. Oh, and then okay. Southeast Alaska is like this. It's this kind of weather. So it oh, like, this is where Superman, so like home. yes, Superman gets his strength from the sun. I get mine from the rain, bro. Oh, sweet, yeah, man. yeah, That's totally. Good. All right, you you cool. headed back to the shop? Yeah, I'm headed back down there. Yeah, okay, cool. Get some bananas and avocado. And nice. Okay, okay. Once I need one of these. <laughs> Reese's <laughs> stick. Yeah. yeah. Hoorah. Uh, well, I'll see you back down there probably about 45 minutes or oh, so, yeah, bro. Cool. All, All right, right hoorah. We'll see you later, man. Absolutely, Michael. Drive yeah. safe, bro. Be it's a good guy right there. It's a good guy. Ah. Yeah, I walked all the way up here last night, actually. I didn't realize that they closed at 9. And so, yeah, I just walked up, turned around, and, and went back down to the shop. I love how friendly people are in this town. 
Oh, there's some nice German Shepherd. It looks like they, they tied him outside to go in and do the store, but it's he's broke loose. He or she is pacing back and forth, waiting for their, their parent. All right, store time. We'll check the deli first, see if there's anything in there. All right, so we might, yeah, if there's anything in the hot case, we'll grab that. Otherwise, it's just chocolate milk and we'll head back to the shop. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. you too. I'm here now. Of oh, I noticed that, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. He's a buddy of mine who works at the other store in Tenasket. This is his first day on the job here. So I just stopped and BS'd with him for a little while. Okay, what we got for food in here, guys? Let's see. I feared the deli would be closed. When the deli closes, though, they, uh, they bag everything up and put it out here. That chicken might be worth it, actually. That's like three or four days worth of meat right there. I should have brought my freezer bags. Maybe we'll grab some freezer bags. Uh, that way I can cut this up when we get home. Oh, it's lemon pepper, too. Oh, I love lemon pepper. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I've even got bread at home. Well, the shop. So I'll grab some freezer bags so that I can cut this up and bag it. Nothing will go to waste. And that gives me a good three, four days worth of uh, worth of chow. Here we go. Let's see. Mm, it's kind of expensive. Oh wait, what's this? Two ninety nine, two ninety five, twenty quart free. Yeah, that's what we do. The price is right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out and then we'll walk back home, guys. Oh, well, look, I had a big old wall full of alcohol. I remember once upon a time in, in early recovery, these things would talk to me. I, I'm like, dude. Uh, it gets easier, guys. It gets easier every day. You know, like they say, one day at a time. So if you're in early recovery or anything, I know it's hard at first. Uh, it does get better, though. And finally, these things like this, they, they stop talking to us, you know? Life is so much better on this side of the fence. Just keep going, have faith in yourself, you know? And know that I believe in you. All right, I'm gonna check out our food, and then we'll head on home. All right, guys, got our chow. Time to go eat it. I cannot believe how hungry I am. I'm just freaking starving right now. Right, guys it's gonna be about more of the same of this i think tomorrow's adventure during the daylight will be better i mean this has been a really nice walk i love being able to clear my head at the end of the day see friends and like you know cut up with locals and stuff You know what's cool about this part of my life is being completely free. Everything is is my decision, you know? I don't answer to anybody. I don't worry about anything. I don't have a bedtime and I can eat as much ice cream as I want. <gasps> ice cream! I should have got ice cream. That's all right, all right. I need to stretch what money I have. Uh, I had to pay a lot of bills. I was behind on uh, this pay period. So this next pay period is gonna be a lot better. Be able to get a windshield for my pickup truck. 
Ah, uh, a couple other things like that. Like well, I said, take the guys out to eat, show them how much I appreciate them. Okay, this is where it's getting dark, so uh, maybe what we'll do, I'm gonna walk on back home, and unless something eventful happens, uh, I'll see y'all guys in the morning, and then we'll come out and we'll take a tour of the town. It's a really great little town. It's really cool. The people are really friendly. That's like just a minute ago, a police officer passed and waved at me and everything. Uh, yeah, it's awesome living in a, in a little small town, you know? And this town is big enough that it like, it has stuff still, you know, which is really cool. Okay guys, I see you later. Never give up, never surrender because you're worth it.